Part three. I should call. I'm, matter of fact, that's the title of this one. I don't give a damn. Part three, stupids. Lord, have a mercy. And the comments ain't stopped. The comments ain't stopped. The comments ain't stopped at all. I guess I done started some controversy. <laughs> hey, y'all folks. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. This is this is supposed to be. We got to keep the entertainment going. <laughs> the entertainment flowing. But some of y'all are just, some of y'all just, uh, woo woo, <laughs> going over a lot of y'all heads. I think, I mean, okay, because this is the third part of the soccer. This is the third part of the soccer. So I'm going to help some of y'all out, okay? You know, I try to tell a lot of people that I tutor a lot of times that there's two types of thinking, all right? There's logical thinking, and then there's what most people do, which is emotional thinking. Emotional thinking, emotions will cloud your judgment. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. And right now, a lot of us and a lot of y'all, U.S., us, Americans, are being very emotional right now. <laughs> like, why are you being so emotional? Why can't you just take the fact that, well, I know why you can't take the fact because in America, we don't believe in that. Jack, that's just not what we do in America. You can't tell us shit, all right? That's one reason why our presidency switched there for you. But that's another story. But anyway, let's, get, let's stay on top of track and field. Now, I have been on my Twitter. And on and my Twitter and my comment. Oh, by the way, if you ain't following me, following that raise take, you need to follow because I act a fool on there too. On both sides, people have highlighted something. And this is why I use the term stupids. Because <laughs> to me, it's just like, Stupid. Why would you even think that? Well, why'd you even say that? One of the things I want to highlight that's being said right now is, you know, when I broke down that, you know, well, it's actually, you know, the Jamaicans, they don't figure it out. They've mastered the art of sprinting. I've had multiple people come back and tell me, well, well, that's just two. They ain't got, they, well, hold on. Hold on, I want to read, y'all know I like to read it. I want to read one of them, because I would just come in back to, some, to, to one of my stupids. Let me read it properly, because he actually had somebody that, that liked what he said. I was like, oh, it's two stupids. And then somebody else, like, oh, it's, it's a lot of stupids. Okay, this is what, this is what we're saying. I'm about to, let me put my disclaimer out there, okay? When I'm saying stupids, I'm not calling you stupid. That's just my slang. Like, when people say stuff that, to me, that don't make sense, I'm like, stupids, okay? I don't use idiots, so I use stupids. Okay, anyway, back to back back to the back to the comment, all right? Uh, uh one person, or oh, this is the same one person, but somebody else says something. They have mastered two races. It's okay that they're the best at that. Stupids! <laughs> what? What? No, it's not! It's not okay! What are you saying? It's okay that they've mastered two of them. I will guarantee you, if you go to a park right now <laughs> and you say, okay, kids, we're about to race, I'm willing to bet you any amount of money that they're going to line up for a sprint. They're not going to line up and they're not going to ask you, okay, where the herd is at? They're not going to ask you, oh, okay, oh, are we jumping into the dirt? They're not going to ask you. Oh, okay, okay, are we going, are we running around the whole playground? They're not going to ask you that, stupids. What they're going to say is, okay, from here to there, sprinting is, let me say it right. Sprinting is not the only thing that matters in track and field, okay? Everything that's on the track matters. I'm going to say it again. In our sport, there is not a single event that does not matter. I will go on record and say every freaking athlete from the hammer throw on down deserves to be paid like a professional athlete. I actually watched the girl get that dang on record in the hammer toss in USA, and I was impressed. But anyway, staying on my topic. In track and field, the premier, the premier event huh, is 100 meter dash. The second premier event is the 200 meter dash. We'll stop right there. 
If you take the 100 and the 200 out of the Olympics, I guarantee you the, way, the ratings are going to plummet. Why? Everybody can relate to the fastest. Everybody, everybody can relate to that. You, you, you can look on Facebook and Twitters and, and all this stuff and you see grandmas trying to race and then they follow because they're going from call to call. They mastered two of them. They, if you master sprinting, if you master the 100 meter dash for a male and or female and the 200, guess what? You have mastered track and field. Why? Because the average person don't give a damn about the rest of them unless you do something spectacular. I can assure you right now, Sid just broke a world record, but you can go to any park. I bet you they know who Shakari is. They're not gonna know who Sid is. And Sid broke a world record. What are y'all saying? To, to me, when you say stuff like that, you're admitting defeat. You are admitting the fact that, well, we good over here. What, Jack? What type of era are we running in? What type of, what? I don't get it, okay? I don't get it. At one point in time, America was a force. It was a dominant force. We were, people was afraid of us. We had people like Ben Johnson going doing crazy, crazy drugs to try and beat an American. And then you had Maurice Green sticking the tongue out for, for 15, 20 years. Beating everybody, can't be touched. Can't be touched. You had the calls. You had the Lee Rubber Rails. Even Dennis Green. I mean, Dennis Mitchell's Green Machine. Forget what he said about him. He even Dennis Green. He had him too. You had a plethora. You don't had the Sean Crawfords come through here. You don't had the Justin Gatlins. You don't had the Tyson Gays. You don't had your, your Mike Rogers. Damn it, I'm pulling me here too. You don't had your Terrence Tramiel's. You don't had the Darvis Pattons. You don't had, damn it, who else is, who else am I leaving now? You don't had your damn John Drummonds. You don't had. You had all these people who, 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 who put American sprinting on the map, Jack. When it comes to sprinting, it's supposed to be United States of Speed. United States of Speed, Jack. You go all the way back to Bob Hayes. You can keep going. We've always been known to be, no matter what, what's going to happen? Jesse Owens, no matter what. When it comes time for this 100, 200, Y'all can go ahead and bow down. We are the capital. We are we are America, Jack. Four by one, don't even come on the track. Nobody can beat us. Nobody can beat us. Okay, here's why I have a problem with this, all right, and why I'm so animated right now. The reason why I have a problem with it is because, let me get over, I'm sorry, I'm kind of red, okay. The reason why I have a problem with it is because I spent years, okay, years, running with a Team USA uniform on my chest, okay? From USA Track and Field Juniors. I was ranked number one in the world, Craig in the 200 at 19. I ran 20.5 with USA on my chest. Why? Because I knew it stood for something. If I got USA on my chest, that means, damn it, you can't beat me in this 100. You can't beat me in this 200. That's what this means. This means when I get to the trials and I got lined up beside the Tim Montgomery's who also put the work in, I got to bring it to I have to bring it. Why? Because this is American Sprint and Jack. We don't bow down to nobody. Nobody do we bow down to. I get into why I switched over to Nigeria here later because I started hating American coaches. But anyway, back to my rent. We didn't bow down to nobody. So if I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here saying, hey man, over uh, them Jamaican girls, I don't think our girls is ready. You shouldn't get offended. You should get pissed off. You should try and figure it out. You should say, hold on, I hold on, I'll call you back. You should say, hey, you know what? Ray has a point. They kicking our ass, and they look like they've been to kick our ass some more. What do we need to do? Instead of getting on to, to, to my things and talking about some, well, Ray, that's just two spins. It's the only two that matter. It's the only two that matter. Damn it. And y'all just gonna be okay with it. You just gonna be okay with it. You just gonna be okay with the fact that it's a possibility that Team USA might not get on. Oh, we see on the female side because damn it, they don't whoop their ass on the male side enough. They said we quit. They literally said we quit. 
And then somebody else had to, had, had the audacity to say that. Like, well, Ray, well, at least the, the boys is going to be ready. The Jamaica ain't got no more boys. Good. They've been beating the shit out of American boys since 2004. It's about time shit. It's 17 years, Jack. <laughs> it ain't been an American anthem on that Olympic podium in 17 years, Jack. It ain't been but like once or twice that y'all been on the podium in front of Jamaica, period, on the men's side. So let's just leave that out there. Let's just put that out there. Switch it over to the, to the American side, to the female side now. And now it looks like the females are about to be the same dominance. But y'all are okay with that. You want to jump on my jump on, jump on, jump on my case because I'm pointing it out. You want to come down on me because I'm sitting here saying this is why they beat, this is why they beating shit out of us. Okay? Look at how they train. Okay? Look at how they look at look at every look at the whole package, Jack. Look at the whole package. Cause they do it every year. Every year, when it's time, when we get to them championships, when we get to them games, they show the hell up. No matter what. No matter what we do, all year long, no matter how slow they may look, they may run this point, that point. Well, you know. You know, back in May, back in, it don't matter what happened back in May because July's around the corner and they ready now. That's what y'all failing to realize, stupids. Look at their program. How many, this is my thing. This is what I don't understand about a lot of folks in track and field. Athletes, coaches, all the way around. Maybe because I'm from the streets. I'm not saying like, like I'm cool. I'm just saying maybe because I'm from like Opelika, Alabama. I'm from, you know, from a little small town. I'm from the country. So, you know, we just look at shit differently, I guess. How many times does it take for you to get your ass whooped before you realize you need to goddamn find something else to do, Jack? What I mean, find something else to do, like, hey, man, you might want to try and ball to the left because every time you fight that boy, he hitting you with the same punch. You know what? Let me see what he's doing. Let me watch him because I got to go fight him. Oh, last time I fought him, he did this and did that. Okay. Uh -uh, not this time, Jack. Huh? I'm right here with you. That's called being damn smart when it comes to sports. They tan your ass up over and over again. And everybody want to hide behind this, hide behind that. No, no, no. They just tan your ass up. And there's a reason why they tan your ass up. Accept it. Live with it. Grow from it. Figure it out. Because I'm sitting here telling you why they tan your ass up. I'm telling you what don't nobody else want to tell you. Because everybody else want to kiss your ass and all sugarcoat and Team USA and y'all, 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 and, and oh, y'all, y'all, you so good. Yeah. No, no, fool, you're not. You're not as good as you can be. You have errors. You have flaws. I, th that's how this whole damn show got started. I point out the errors and the flaws. It's, it's, some of y'all ain't played the match game as kids or something. Some of y'all didn't play go fish or something you didn't do. Because you got two damn different things to look at. You can look at the person who tanned our ass up and then look at us and be like, hey man, they don't look the same. It's one thing if they look if, if across the board, if across the board the training system was the same, if the style of running was the same. Like I said in my first video on this saga, it would be different. But let's just 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 put it into retro, just to put it into perspective. Look at how an, an average American sprinter season is now. Versus when they figured it out. They figured out the Floyd Mayweather approach, stupid. They figured out if I save my body and I only be prepared to run and get a meltdown, I will be worth more money, stupids. My appearance fee will be worth more money if I show up. Why? Because the only time I show up is when I got to go get me a medal. Now, if you want me to come do this little rank it damn booty crap meet, just know you ain't going to get no fast time because I ain't even ready to run fast yet. But you are going to pay my appearance fee. That's the part of the game they don't got figured out, Jack. They don't figure this shit out to a science. It literally don't, they don't broke it down to a goddamn science. Literally. By the time we get to racing them, they ready to go, Jack. They full throttle. They sitting there like, y'all still ain't figured this shit out yet? <laughs> like, how many races you did before you got here? Even, I won't even stay on Jamaica. I will go to damn Canada. There's a reason why I keep the grass here on my big board. Why? Because he does the same damn thing. 
He shows up when it's time. He don't run a lot. He not doing that. He show up when it's time. The problem here is that we are too damn soft. I'm going to call it what it is. You're too damn soft. And, and it's y'all fans running around here that's making them even softer. Because you still, oh, it's okay. It's okay. You'll be around. Right. You're still going to get a gold medal. No, you're not. Tell them the truth. Be Nick Saban. Be Nick Saban. No, you, you're not. Until you fix it, until you get better, you're not. Stop, stop, stop. That's what's wrong with Team That's what's wrong with Team USA. It's a lot wrong with Team USA. I used to be a part of them. I ain't gonna tell you everything's wrong with them, but I'm telling you what's really wrong with them from y'all fans. It's y'all. It's y'all. It's y'all. Stop hyping these people up. Stop giving these people false hope, false reality. Get it to them real. Tell them, hey, well, maybe it's just the way I was grow where I grew up. Maybe again, maybe it's the over like it me. If you get your ass whooped, we finna tell you, Jack. You got your ass whooped. Mm -mm. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that extra stuff you talking about. But shit, all I know is you got to land with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to tell somebody that. Because that's the only way they going to get him. Like, you know what? I got my ass whooped. I need to fix something. But if y'all fans keep coming around here when I'm saying stuff like, hey, man, they tearing our ass up. You can't say that, Ray. You leave them alone, Ray. You let them. You That team USA, Ray. They do what they They okay. Mother. What? You, what? You, you, wait, what? Y'all are okay with this? Y'all are okay with this false reality? Because it's a false reality because it's staring you right there in your damn face that, no, Jack, no. What, what, look at, look at history. What has history shown us? Literally. That's why I'm sitting here looking at, like, I be scratching my head when I be having these conversations. I be like, who? What, what, who, 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 what, what? Look at history. Who's been dominating the sport? I know what one person said. Well, Ray, that was on, the males ain't doing nothing no more. Okay, but it's still the country dominating one side of the sprints. And half the reason why the males ain't doing nothing because they're breeding a new crop of males. Go, just go look at their trials, look at the ages. 17, 19, 20, 21. They are breeding a whole new crop of male sprinters. You thought that what you thought that whole Asafa, Johan reign was over with? No, why is it not over with? Because the same coaches are down there. The same teachers are teaching the new generation. And there's one thing that you cannot outrun. You cannot outrun physics. You can't. I don't give a damn how hard you try you can't and now if you got coaches and teachers and trainers teaching repeatedly the same stuff over and over and over again what do you think gonna happen the same coaches that been coaching both and all the rest of the boys are coaching the new boys now the same coaches that are coaching you know Shelly and even though they switching coaches but they switching between coaches down there the styles, are the, the styles really ain't, you know, they ain't that different. So if you got the same coaches over there doing the same coaching style, and you got the same coaches over here doing the same coaching style, what the hell make you think anything's going to change up? Stupids. How? It can't. It literally can't. It's literally impossible. It's literally impossible. If, if, if over here, if architect number one builds a house, it's almost like, it's almost like the damn three little pigs. If this goddamn house keeps getting built with straw, guess what? That bitch gonna fall. If he keep building his house with bricks, guess what? You probably should go knock on his door because your house don't got blown down and say, hey man, where did you learn to build this house with these bricks? Get out your damn pride! Or you gonna keep getting your ass whooped. Nah, I don't wanna come on this thing no more. Get, 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 do this again. I told y'all. Stop it. Accept it. I ain't saying that wrong. What I'm saying is get your act together. What I'm saying is get some fire underneath your ass. What I'm saying is if you go over here to Tokyo, half stepping, basing it off of what them damn Oregon times gave you, you're finna get your ass whooped. That's what I'm saying. Get, get it together. When we get over here to Tokyo, no, they not playing. They not playing. They coming for real. Don't let them uh, Now I'm talking to, to the athletes. Well, I ain't got to talk to y'all. I ain't got to talk to y'all. Well, I ain't got to talk to y'all. Get you. 
You see what Noah did yesterday? This is what all y'all need to do. All of y'all, Team USA, need to do the same thing Noah did yesterday. Noah said, you know what? I got out my own damn way. That's what he pretty much said. He said, you know what? I've been doing too much. I've been doing too much. I'm three months behind on my training. I've been stressing now. I just pretty much just said, you know what? Just, just go. Just go. Do what I do. Do what you do, but don't be naive with what you're doing. Understand that there are certain aspects of your game that could be polished to make sure you are ready for a big fight. Especially if your opponents have not been fighting as much as you've been fighting. Your opponents are fresher. So you need every advantage you can get. Study your opponents. Study your opponents. Watch them. Watch what they're doing. Don't just watch them run. No, watch what the they doing. Watch their feet. Watch their hands. Watch you. Watch when you race them. Watch the comparisons. Do that. Go look at your race and then go look at their race. Go find out why you lost. And if you can find any differences, that's the shit you got to start studying. That. Don't keep relying on your damn speed. Don't keep relying on your coach. Now I'm still talking to athletes. Don't keep relying on the, the, the love of the sport. Because I can tell you what, Jack. Prime example. Even right here now, and a lot of y'all ain't finna understand what I'm about to say, but I'm finna make it make sense to you. It was only what? A week and a half ago that Shakira ran? And that quick, no more conversations about it. That's track and field for you. That quick, no more conversations about it, okay? So what I'm trying to get y'all to understand is learn this shit. Because guess what? Just as quick as... We go on to the next race. That's what happens when your career is over with. All them shoe companies, all them coaches, all them, everybody going to go on to the next sprinter. Leaving you somewhere working at Home Depot. And I'm still talking to the sprinter, to the athletes now because I know y'all watch the show. Wise up. Figure it out. Don't, don't just keep depending on, on the hype. If a mom, if a person is jabbing your ass over and over again, go to your corner and say, hey, man, what's going on? If your corner say, hey, you got to dodge the jab, he keep jabbing you. Okay, you go out there and don't dodge the jab, that's your fault. I told you what's going on. If you go to the corner and you say, hey, man, I keep getting hit, I keep getting hit in the mouth, and your corner say, well, fight harder. That's what I'm pretty much saying what happens to a lot of uh, Americans and a lot of American sprinters. Fight harder. You just got to fight harder. No, stupid. How about fight smarter, not harder? I don't get it. But it do make for good conversation, y'all. I'm going to give me some dinner. I'm done for the night.